er ingenting som biter på en ekte norske mann. Men det gjør aldri det grann, det gjør aldri det grann, for det er ingenting som biter på en ekte norske mann. After cooking the freshly caught fish along the riverbank, it's time for a jolly song with a warming campfire as the sole source of lighting, apart from the pale moonlight. Gratulerer! Kjempefin! Seks-sju kilo. Seks-sju kilo, ja. Of Norway's many natural treasures, Lofoten is perhaps the greatest. Arriving from the south by boat, you are met by a breathtaking spectacle. Lofotvegen, the archipelago's jagged continuous mountain formation, rises on the horizon like a monument over this island kingdom. Fishing is more than an occupation in Lofoten, it's a way of life. For hundreds of years, the fishermen have roamed the ocean in their boats, searching for the golden treasures hidden deep beneath them. Here, the people rely on the sea to give them a livelihood and food on the table. The fish from Lufoten is highly acclaimed all over the world for its freshness and unique flavor. Cod was, and continues to be, a precious commodity for the fishermen. The times have changed. The many fishermen's shacks that previously housed poor, wizened laborers are now charming places in which to stay for the many visitors who come here every year. Lofoten is still a vibrant community where fishermen carry out their everyday tasks side by side with the visitors. The Gulf Stream ensures dry and relatively mild winters and, the weather gods permitting, this means that the fish can be dried and stored indefinitely. Tromsø was, and continues to be, a commercially important town in the north, often referred to as the capital of northern Norway. The town flourished in the 1800s, when polar bear, reindeer and seal trapping took off in a big way. Tromsø also became famed as the starting point for several major polar expeditions not least the one that ended in the death of the country's best-known adventurer, Ruel Amundsen, in the icy wastes surrounding the North Pole 
in 1928. Tromsø is often referred to as the Paris of the North, not, as many believe, as a result of today's varied nightlife and music, but due to its trend-setting inhabitants in the 19th century who invested a lot of energy in importing the latest fashions from the French capital. This did not escape the attention of the many visitors to the town, and Tromsø acquired its reputation for being an exciting and diverse town which it retains today. Way up north, you'll find the Finnmark Plateau, an enormous open landscape with barely enough vegetation for the reindeer to be able to get by. During winter, you might want to try a genuine Sami sled dog tour. This is the land of the Sami people an indigenous minority in Norway. Their main livelihood is reindeer husbandry. Near the coast, Alta is located in the western part of Norway's northernmost county, Finnmark. Fishing represents a natural source of income here, just as it does all the way along the long Norwegian coastline. 